Welcome back to my channel. It's an H&M and a Zara haul, size 16 to 18. We're gonna go straight in. I usually do really polished plan videos. I can't be bothered to be quite frank. Not that I can't be bothered that the stock is going out so quick right now that I just wanna get this up as soon as possible. And I wanna do first impressions as well. So I'm gonna be trying on this neutral H&M and Zara palette. Very autumn, winter appropriate. And you'll be getting first reactions and everything will be linked down below. Do the usual, like, subscribe, everything. Instagram, I'm talking so much more about dating. Don't think I've spoken to you actually since I've been single. So let's just start with the video. As a little preview as well, this is what we will be trying on today. To touch quickly what I'm wearing on, to touch on quickly what I'm wearing right now, these, because I have to mention these, the Lululemon leggings, they're the Align pants. I've had them now for about two years. They are crazy expensive, something like 90 pounds. But if you break them, rip them, whatever, I got mine replaced so easily. Customer service was incredible, like the best customer service I've ever had. They feel like butter. I just couldn't live without them. They are, may I say, my favorite piece in my wardrobe, period. I will link them below. I don't know what order I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna do what makes sense. I was gonna do Zara, then H&M, but this is actually an H&M piece. It's a puffer coat, it's black. I think they have a few colors, maybe a khaki and a cream as well. This is an XL. Fits my 16 to 18 frame very well indeed. This is just like, look at him. <laughs> this is my dog walking outfit. I think puffer jackets, I've just clocked, they've got fleece pockets. Great. The like a black puffer is my most used winter staple. I think this one is about £100, which is quite expensive, but it lasts so long. I would advise not putting them in the wash because the down inside kind of messes up, so I just spot clean if it gets a bit like muddy from a dog jumping up or something like that. It fits really well. I love the length. It just is very cosy and you can't go wrong. Also try and get one with a hood. This also has zips and a poppers all the way down. Yeah, this is wonderful, really good fit, very snug. Literally feels like you're wearing a duvet. Please get a black puffer, like, I'm 28 now. It's about practicality, not fashion. But even that, like, I don't think this is bad, fashionable. I'd put it on with my Celine's and like a bobble hat and I think it would look quite cool. Great, fleece pockets are really, really warm as well. Very toasty. You might remember this time last year, I asked my girlfriends the best place to get good quality, affordable knitwear and every single one of them said H&M and I haven't like looked back ever since. Being funny with the roll, hang on. And then it's a double H&M outfit because these jeans I've been wearing so much. Like I ripped open the H&M parcel when it arrived and put them on. Didn't like them at first because I felt like they were a bit tight. Now I absolutely love them and I do feel like H&M denim, you kind of have to wear them a bit and they get a bit looser because originally they were a bit more like a straight leg almost like a skinny hybrid with a mum and it was it was not sitting right but these are an 18 they are great I love the color I love the wash I love the fit I also have them in black I got the black ones like two months ago and they are so comfortable like they are such a pleasure to wear and I think for affordability comfort um yeah that's probably it they're great they're really, really great. And then I've just put my Uggs on because this is like a very working from home outfit for me. It's comfortable, but if the postman is at the door, you can answer it. This next item is the navy, although it looks black at the moment. It's a navy pinstripe jacket. This one is Zara. I get a lot of questions about being curved slash plus and wearing Zara. The rule of thumb is order the biggest size you can, cross your fingers. Don't get disheartened if it doesn't fit you because their sizes are whack. Decided to put it with my Celine glasses, which I get so much wear out of. I absolutely love them. They are never in stock. I will link them below. And if you see them, buy them. They are so phenomenal. White t-shirt from H&M. It's got some spilt ramen down it, but you can't see it because the camera is that good. Then these white Topshop jeans, which I should have steamed. I didn't know I was gonna use them in the video though, but they're great. They are, I can't remember, I'll link below and some boots from office a while back. The jacket, let me put it on properly. Even taking my hair down for this one. Greasy as hell. I've got a shoot tomorrow, so I, <laughs> I'm waiting to wash it tonight. Sorry, I, I've been honest from the beginning. So the jacket, love how long it is, even on my five foot 10 frame and with heels, it's still like oversized. 
it's a size XL. If I was being really picky, I'd say I'd love the sleeves to be slightly longer, but on a blazer, I tend to roll the sleeves up anyway. I'll show you what that looks like. It's such a shame it's not coming up as navy because it's proper, proper navy, which I love. And I have like a black tux jacket thing, but I saw the navy pinstripe and I thought that was a bit different. I really like it. And this is the thing, I order so much stuff from Zara and I'm like, oh, I can just return it. I just never end up wearing, uh, never end up returning Zara. It's just such good quality. It's got these pockets, which are false. It's got a button here, double breasted. That's double breasted, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I really like it. I love wearing blazers to like elevate outfits that are really casual. I really like wearing um, double white at the moment. I'll put in a little picture here of um, an outfit that I wore recently with this look, but then this like top shop vinyl jacket it's so cool and it is in stock at the moment could i talk more about this blazer love it really really like it i hope you do too let me know in the comments but yeah it's cool and you could wear a hoodie under it when it gets cold okay let's stop talking about the blazer next item another knit from h&m this cream jumper i feel like this is an xl i feel like i probably could have got away with it in a large um i'll just show you it tucked in but I don't mind an oversized one. I love pairing neutrals with white. I've got the top top jeans on again. These ASOS Raid boots, which are, they don't take any time to wear in. I think they're 30 pounds and I think they're still on ASOS. I will link them below. They're great, they go with everything and they are so comfortable. Knitwear, um, I think it probably needs a steam. I do like a sexy cardi though, a bit of Cardi cleavage is like my thing in autumn. But equally you could wear it open with like a t-shirt underneath. I'm not obsessed with it, I'm gonna be honest. I think it's okay. I think it just sits a little bit stiff. You want something that kind of falls better. But it's very warm. I really like the elasticated sleeves because then it means it puffs on the arm quite a bit more. Um, and the detail down here is really nice. I think I just have really high expectations of like H&M knitwear. It's a really nice cardigan and I'm gonna keep it. Just being picky for your benefit. And that's the other thing I was thinking about this haul is like, I think hauls are changing to be slightly more educational for bigger girls as well, because we can't try anything on. So if you know that something fits me in a certain way, then hopefully that might give you a bit more guidance when you purchase. I'm really good at guessing my size online. Um, so hopefully that helps. So yeah, like it not obsessed what do you think are you just snoring and just one more time for the people in the back doesn't matter if it's an xl an 18 whatever it just matters that it fits you worry about the fit not the label oh my god another zara coat i think i might just have to keep it's suddenly got really dark and grim outside so i'm sorry for the quite depressing color of the video i think i've had one zara coat before let me know how yours wears because my last one didn't wear so well but then i did put it in the washing machine and it was just so stupid this is a full length camel coat very light falls very well very soft it has pockets which are real pockets you just have to like snap the um the thread in them if you know what i mean and tortoiseshell buttons here with like a cuff detail <sighs> It's light, it's not doing the products any favour. It's horrible. Um, I really like camel over double white as well. Again, I've got on my raid boots from ASOS, fab. Just a really easy outfit. Would put, surprise, surprise, with my Celine glasses. I feel like this is a very like Rosie Huntington Whiteley kind of thing. She's always in beige, particularly beige coats. So I really like this. I feel like this was quite expensive. I'll link all sizes below because yeah, I think this must be an XL, this this coat. What do you think? Would like if it had a bit more structure in the lapels because they're a little bit floppy, but still really like this coat. Uh-oh, one we might have to keep. If you want to get a bit more overcast and just make everything look really crappy under indoor lights, that would be fab. But I just put this on and I said out loud, oh, because this is another thing I feel like I'm gonna have to keep. I didn't have a checked blazer, I really wanted one. I tried one from H&M, I didn't like it. I wanted something heavy and structured and this is it. I just checked, it's an XXL. I love that, I love that oversized fit. It's brown, beige and black. Looks like a little bit yellow, it's not. Brown, beige, black, pockets, buttons, 
great. This um, necklace I get loads of compliments on. It's also Zara. And then we went for like a girl's dinner. My best friend was wearing it as well. It's a good one. It's like a slightly faded gold, so it's not so in your face. Because it's a really big chain, so you wouldn't want it to be shiny. Why am I out of breath? <sighs> just so excited about this blazer. I'll put it on properly. I love doing first impressions as well online um, on YouTube so you can actually see like how I really feel about them. Really like this one. I don't have anything like it. I've paired it with my um, Kurt Geiger white trainers. You have to size up in these 100%. This is a UK 8 I'm wearing. Topshop Jamie jeans. Um, Uniqlo men's belt. My ASOS t-shirt again that has ramen down it but you can't tell. One thing that hasn't fit, everything's fit so well so far. You guessed it, these gloves, they are a size large, they are so tight. They're black leather, really comfortable, fleece lined. If you can fit into them, I love them. I love black gloves in the winter, but they just, they just don't fit me. Um, would recommend though, how much are they? Doesn't say. Sorry, if you could do an XL for my fat hands, that would be amazing. This is for the black see-through pearl neck knit from Zara. Um, it is see-through, I'm wearing a black bra underneath. I like that, I really like it. I wore it with a nude bra and I was like, oh that's annoying, and then I was like, let's make a feature out of it and actually wear it with a black bra. A little bit sexy, but no one can accuse you of being sexy. Black polar neck, such a staple for me. I think it's a real like model winter staple. I'll go to castings and stuff like this. Very thin, very comfortable. I also do like Zara's basics, I think they're so affordable. They last a really long time and I've always liked their polar necks in the past, so I thought I would pick this one up. I actually picked two up because I added two to the basket by accident. Yeah, wearing it with my black Jamie jeans, my Kurt Geigers. You could wear it with like a winter coat over the top, a leather jacket, anything. It's such an easy outfit and I just feel like it looks quite sophisticated. You can also wear it with um, a skirt and some tights and boots and it just looks like a really nice kind of Sunday roast sort of outfit. Another absolute win from Zara. I get why everyone shops there now. I mean, the sizing's really whack. If they did a plus size line, that would be amazing. But look at this shirt. It's perfect for everything. Date, brunch, Zoom work calls. It's just perfect. And I love a kind of, it's like a silk feel shirt. Um, that's my model agent, it's a very exciting sound. Focus. The Zara necklace again. Black belt, uh, the top shop. Jamie jeans and my black boots. So simple, so simple. Stuff like this reminds me of like um, jeans and a nice top dress code. If I had clean hair, the whole thing would be so much nicer. But I don't. Um, yeah, really cute for like a date as well. It's a leopard, but leopard print. They have they have two or three different colorways as well, and all sizes will be below. I forgot to look at the size label. Nice, isn't it? I really like. Finally, something that doesn't fit. Well, I mean, it fits. It's just, um, it's a black velvet dress. And that's case of the way, it's just too short for me. Like, my legs aren't my favorite thing to show off. And even with tights, I just feel like I need a couple inches on. Because even if I bend slightly a couple inches forward at the waist, it would show my bum. So if you're somebody who is shorter than me, I'm five foot 10 for reference. And black velvet dress is for you. This is really nice, really comfy. Elasticated sleeves here, lovely deep V cuts at the waist but like it cuts too high on my waist so it's just it's it's for a smaller person really like it's just way too I mean I'd need like that much more to feel kind of confident just a little bit naughty but a really cute winter dress so if you're smaller than me and this is a bit of you then go for it I'll try and no you can't really see but it is velvet and it's comfortable which is a shame because I don't have anything like this but oh well it's kind of good that I don't like it because we needed some bad ones, so ending on a low, I'm sorry. It's a calf length skirt from H&M. I have steamed it, it's still like this. It has these like kind of pleats in them, but not, it's just not like falling well, it feels really cheap. Yeah, the fabric doesn't feel like very expensive or nice at all. I think the length is actually a bit weird. It's kind of like librarian chic on me, but not so chic actually. Put it with the jumper. I can confirm that the jumper is just great, so comfortable, really really love this one. But yeah, it's a big fat no to the skirt. Sorry about that. He has been snoring an insane amount through the video, I do apologise. He's just very comfortable right now. Oh god. What a miserable grey day. That's the end of my haul. This is the 
very grey, drab mess left after um, my haul. I wanted it to be pretty, but I wanted to get this up for you as soon as possible. So everything will be linked down below. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, please. Do comment, do like. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you are missing something. We're going so date heavy. I've never had so many messages just being like, I'm here for it. It's, but it's, it's, it's the new rival to Netflix series, really. <laughs> So um, I'll put my handle here on the screen and I'll see you in the next haul slash um, I do have a video coming out about like being single and dating and love and all that kind of stuff so that will be up on my channel at some point. Thank you for 5k subscribers, so cute, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video whatever that will be. Bye!